Hey guys, welcome back here in the Whitman Records and right now I'd like to answer a question which I get a lot. What do you need to work with your iPad while you are performing? Yeah, I get this question a lot so I'm going to answer it and I think there's five necessary things you need to have on your iPad and with your iPad when you are a solo artist. Let's see it. Well, the first thing I'd like to show you, there's gonna be three different types I use all the time. The first one is stage tracks. Well, this is, this is a very useful program when you play with backing tracks and you wanna re read your lyrics and also the chords maybe. You can even have the option that it stops after each song you played. So you don't have to worry about that it. it's gonna jump to the next song and it's gonna be like a big mess or something. You can equalize each song you have and you can build set lists. I think set lists are really great, so you can just see how you're gonna work, what songs you're gonna play each set, and it can also give you the time, how long is your set gonna be. It's really useful, I really re recommend it if you play with a backing track, neat. All right, the next program, which I use also a lot, especially when I play in acoustic or play with a piano and there's a request and I don't know the lyrics that much or I don't know the ly lyrics at all, but I know the melody, I know the song more or less or I heard it before, so I can, I can make the whole thing happen, right? And this is the gu Ultimate Guitar, Ultimate Guitar app, which is really good. You can just also build playlists, you can, you can put your own tabs and own chord progressions with lyrics in, in your favorites. So, you have your, so you're gonna have your own list of songs, which is great. I really recommend it, you can just easily transpawn the songs if you need it with few touches. <laughs> yeah, with no clicks anymore, few touches, right? I really recommend this one, it saved my life a few times. Last but not least, the last app what I'm going to show you right now, it's gonna be the iBooks. I use iBooks for my music sheets and it's just simple. You can also search, you can organize your things around a little. There are better programs out there. I've seen some of my colleagues using different ones, but I'm just perfectly fine with this one and I can, I can just work with it. So for example, I just open the Elton John Nikita song and you can swipe you're gonna have the whole song here and the music sheet, I think it works really easy. And next thing, which is also very important, where to put your iPad when you have only a mic stand in front of you. Well, I use this mount, I think it's really, really handy. It's just super comfortable. It works very easy. I can mount it anywhere on any kind of stand so it's just great you should have one of these this made my life so much easier before when i when i just bought my ipad when i started out with the ipad idea i didn't have this so i was using a music stand well that's that's not something i recommend i've been working on a sailing ship before as a musician playing outside having a music stand in front of me with my ipad on and when you have, you know, the sea is kind of rough sometimes and when you have a move, the whole thing can fly and that's not really good for your budget. Definitely use one of these. Way safer and way more comfortable. And the last thing I'd like to show you right now and I think this is something which is one of the most important thing you need to have. Without this you cannot work. I've been struggling with this a lot of times. I had tons of different cables and I tried, to, I tried out many different options, but eventually this is how I could manage it. The end is to mono jacks, the 6.5, and I have for the iPad on the other end. This is a really good quality cable, I'm gonna put the link in the description where you can find this. I have also with the RCA option, if, if you need it, so I have two different kinds. I have one with the jack and I have one with the RCA. I think it's very important to have this. You have to think of uh, something else with this cable option that on sub ships they don't use analog inputs anymore. You have to, you must have a DI box with you. I mean, in this case too. There are like small passive DI boxes and you can use those, I think that's fine. 
All right, guys, I guess that was it for today. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want more videos like this on my YouTube channel or if you want to have in-depth review or tutorial about these programs or anything else. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope I see you next time. Bye!